guys, it is freezing today. Like, no joke, it is absolutely freezing. So it's one degree here at the moment, and it looks like it's just about to start to snow. Ugh. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you who have been around a while and hi for all you new guys, hope you're all okay. And so yeah, I am just going to address the big fat elephant in the room right now because I managed to sit on another pair of my glasses. Well actually, this is a big fat lie, I did manage to sit on them. I woke up this morning and my glasses, I always put them next to my bed. I woke up this morning, they were on the floor next to my bed and the lens had popped out of them. So as you can see, I've got a tiny bit of granny sticky tape right there. Like good old Daphne from Scooby-Doo. So I thought I would address it, get it out the way. I have got an appointment booked at Specsavers to get my prescription. Oh, it's just so annoying. I always order my glasses as well from like select specs or all them like on the go glasses. Alexa's been doing that a lot lately. I'm sure she'll listen to me every time I say like a brand. It's like, hmm. So like that a lot. She's so nosy. But, right, so yeah, so I booked myself an appointment at Specsavers. Well, look at it. Oh, so gutted. God knows how it happened. Like, literally, God knows. So, what you are all here for today is my Christmas haul. I just went to light one of my candles and realized, shoot, I haven't filled in the Christmas haul. So I have et kind of like most of what I've got or it is about five days later. So some of it's been unpackaged or put upstairs, put away, been eaten. And so yeah, so I just thought I would show you what was left downstairs. Did you all have a lovely Christmas? What did you all get? Let me know. And so to start, I thought I'll show you these. So we've got this massive, oh my gosh, we have a lot of them. Oh my goodness, we've got loads. So... My best friend knows I love Percy Pigs, so she picked me this up. As you can see, wait there, let's see. There, you can see the Percy Pig face. So she picked me this up, and it was from, it is obviously from Marks and Spencers. Nice glass top, and oh my gosh, it's just full of Percy Pigs. I'm gonna eat one. No, I'm not gonna eat one because I'm starving, and they really start eating sweets. I won't eat my dinner because I'm like a child. And so, yeah, got these huge Percy Pigs which I'm going to reuse this as like a little sweet jar. As you can see, it's massive. So yeah, so that was very, very... And then I got a few of these. So I've already taken a couple of these upstairs and popped them in the bathroom. So these are the Link sets and the women's. And they, they literally do smell delicious. Does anyone else, have, anyone else have them? They're so nice. So I've got them. I can't remember who I got them off. And this is a little stock and filler off Craig. I go through tons of notebooks. And can you see the B on that? Yeah. So I go through tons of notebooks and they're always so handy. So Craig got me one of them, a little stock and filler. I got this. This is actually handmade, I think, off. Who did got me this? I can't remember. But it was handmade off someone. It's really sweet. I love, I get really, really, really cold ears. And because we walk the dogs like all the time. I haven't actually tried this one. Oh, this is nice. I don't know if I'd normally go for like the flower on the side, but. Well, this is quite cute. I'm going to try and keep the flower down there, actually. Oh, I like that. So, yeah, I haven't actually shared that on, but it's so handy, guys. Look, keep your ears warm. I suffer with, like, cold ears when we walk the dogs. A lot, like an actual lot. And so there's nothing worse than having pains in your ears. So I've got one of those, which is very sweet. Should I really show this? But it's alcohol, but it's okay. We're all over 18 while I'm over 18. I'm 30, unfortunately. Um, so yes, Jägermeister, not unfortunately, because I am so grateful to be 30. There's so many people in this world that don't get to be 30. So whoop, whoop, I'm 30 and I am celebrating. So yeah, Jäger, to be honest, mm, it's my last day off work today and not actually in work till three o'clock tomorrow. So I might open these in the hot tub tonight. What an idea, do you think? Thumbs up if you think we should. I think we should. So, they're going down there. I also got them as a sweet little gift. Who doesn't like Jägermeister? And then this. What is this? I don't actually know what this is, guys. Oh. White Birch Scented Diffuser. It's a home set from Sainsbury's. A little diffuser set. So that's quite nice. That's probably off my mother-in-law because she works in Sainsbury's. Yeah, that does smell lovely, actually. Who likes the diffuser set? They're just so nice and... Depends which ones they are, but 90% of them are okay for dogs, so I'll have a look into that one. 
right oh i know who got this off so i got this off one of my best friends as well she always laughs at me because whenever we go out i never have a purse and i always have well i do i kind of take my purse but most of the time i don't or carry like my little dior money wallet because i love that and i picked that up for like a bargain so she said she got me a purse oh my gosh guys can you hear that noise there's a plane going over and it's that loud that I could hear it like literally like rippling through my ears. So she picked me up this gorgeous little purse. I think it's from TU by the looks of it, is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's nice though. And so nice and chunky. Probably got lots of space inside. Oh, she put money in it. Oh, I didn't even realise. Oh, the daft thing. Oh, <laughs> two quid or 150. <laughs> Oh, she's daft. Oh, I'm going to give her a back. She's not giving me 150 or I'll buy her something from it because it's bad luck to give it back. I'll buy her some... Oh, there's a little side part. I'll buy her something for it. So you get your little purse and then it comes with like a little strap, which I think is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, my hands are so cold, guys. I've got the heating on as well. Just feel sorry for all them poor homeless people. Guys, I do a lot for the homeless and I try and encourage a lot of other people too as well. And I know it's so... In the society that we live in now, we don't know whether everyone is homeless, but they've, it's such a, such a, like a hard thing because some people are so sensitive over the fact, like some people do just do it to trick people, but there are a lot of genuine homeless out there, believe me and you, and there's a lot of lovely homeless out there as well. So, right, I got this wax belt, burner. One of my cousins, actually, guys, go and follow her on Instagram, Facebook, all them. She's called For the Love of Melts, and she makes the most beautiful wax melts. If you don't know me and Craig, we love wax melts and candles and burners and all the things that smell nice. And she makes her own, so she does have this company called For the Love of Melts. And, oh my goodness, this pink one. She must have known, because my auntie bought me this, and it's her daughter-in-law who makes them. And so she's just gave a selection of all my favourite ones that I like. I love these two. But saying that, I love that one as well. So that one's like candy floss. I think this is just like a clean, fresh air one. And what? Oh, I can smell that now. Oh, I wish I had sense of vision. One day, guys, one day. Oh, sugar. I have an early adult one. Bless them. I'm going to pop them down there as well. Make some space for yourself. And my best friend who got me the purse also bought me this guys what have i been saying about this if you haven't been on my instagram make sure you get over there because this is one of the nicest smelling things you will ever smell so i work in a school and one of the classrooms that i was in had this oh my gosh i felt like washing my hands about 10 times but then a bit ocd but honest to god guys you can smell it it's not even open yet get make sure you get it it's imperial leather let flaming oh so yeah get some of that guys that was delish then my auntie, so me and my auntie went to Matalan when we could actually go out and go shopping and see our bubble, if that makes sense. And so me and my auntie went to Matalan to pick a couple of bits up. And when we walk around, I saw this and I was umming and ahhing whether to buy it. Like, do I, don't I? And I didn't buy it. But she must have gone back and picked it up for me. Look how gorgeous it is. So it is just, let me try and, there we go, get those back. So it's just a plain, not plain, it's knitted. It's a weave. There you go, like a kind of Aaron style, but not as, not actual Aaron, because we all know I love Aaron. But look at that, isn't it lovely? It feels absolutely insane. It's beautiful. It feels so soft, so warm. And you kind of just want a blanket out of it. So I got that jumper, and I also got this jumper. Let me move that back. Tiny titchy witchy. This was from, I was actually with my mum when she bought this. So this was from H&M and we had to run in there. What do we have to get? And I hate buying from H&M as well. But I saw it and I thought it was very me. Just very cute. Very casual. Just very like chuck it on. Go. I love a jumper to be honest. Even in the summer. You can't go wrong. Little thin jumper. Pair of jeans. How cute is that? So that was from H&M. That was £5. And I know that was an absolute bargain. But for a little stocking filler. I don't need anything, so I hate people like wasting money on me. What I, what we want, what we like, what we need, we buy. So Christmas is just a time for us to spend with family, and it's nice. Like 
I've lost my dad to Christmas is like you appreciate the times like you really do what you've got left with your parents so Christmas was nice and I'm gonna stop talking about it before I get upset right guys what else did we get oh one of my teachers from work we always buy each other like little gifts and she got me this ballast and harden set and little socks because I always love a good pair of little booty socks and then I don't even know what this is Silk and almond moisturising foot. Oh, so it's a foot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's a foot set. She must know that I'm on my feet all day. So yeah, bought me this, which I thought was very nice. I'm just going to move that money out of the way. So this also opens. was also one of my best friend who got me the little bit. This is a money box slot machine. I love this. We've already started using it. As you can see, it's not in the box. Um... I didn't realise it actually pays out. Oh, that's funny that. One arm band is out. So yeah, so we've, we've been using that already as a money box. And that is so handy because I like to save money. Oh, my sister-in-law and my brother is a little stock and filler. So they actually gave me money because I was trying to find, well, I was trying to, there's a restaurant in Liverpool, which we love. And as you know, we don't need anything. So the restaurant in Liverpool that we love, oh, someone's just ringing me. Let me turn them off. The restaurant in Liverpool that we love, they do vouchers but because of COVID at the moment, it's all a bit crazy, like up in the air, so it's shut. So they gave me money to spend. So I put that money away to save for something or to buy something that I want, but there's not much that I want at the moment. So they got me a load of stock and fillers and my sister-in-law knows I love the shop accessorize and who doesn't. So she got me loads of like little girly bits really, you could say. This was one of them, which I absolutely love. So this has also gained two little notebooks which are very, very, very cute. And a little pen. You can see like a very beautiful pen. And so I will be using these. Notebooks are handy just for everything, aren't they? Just for literally life. The notebook of life, hey? And then my mother, again, when we were in H&M, this is bargain, guys. Like an actual bargain. So this should have been... She's tried to take it off, but I don't know why. This should have been 2 99 2 $2.99, $12.99. And it was only £2.00. And it's wool and alpaca. And it's another headband. Right. Hmm, this is cute. So you can kind of wear it two ways. That way. Or well, that way, I think. To be honest, I wouldn't really mind which way I wear it. It's probably just one way, but I'm being a bit crazy. I love these guys. They are just... I've probably got it on so, so wrong at the moment. But you can just see they cover everything. <laughs> what the heck that's awesome so you can see they just cover everything and they are just like so handy like they really are oh someone's ringing me who is ringing me you can stop ringing me so yeah i got another one of these and for two pounds like why would i want to spend them more because two quid i'll pack a wool call me cashmere darling right next I got another pair of pyjamas. Actually, I'm showing you the others. Oh, shoot. Hmm. I got another gorgeous pair of pyjamas from Sheen. And I've washed them, so they're in the wash right now. I think they've just finished. But yeah, I'll get them out. I'll show you them another time, guys. So these, just another pack of pyjamas. Good old Primark. Short sleeve pyjama set. Oh, and they've got nice cuffed bottoms. If you can see what they actually look like here. There. So yeah, got them get these off oh my gosh these are so cute who did i get these off mm. they are very sweet and that sounds so ungrateful it'll either be craig's mum or my auntie i think how cute are these cute little christmas socks i didn't even realize i had them and i will be putting them on right now because my toes are cold and i've got old socks on so i'll be putting them on who doesn't like Christmas socks? Is Christmas even Christmas if you don't get Christmas socks? Now, this is a scarf off my brother and his wife. And it's made from recycled fabric, which I thought was good. Made from recycled plastic bottles. Guys, if that's not a bit of me, then that's not a bit of me. So my mum actually liked it as well. And I've got a feeling she'll be pinching it off me. So it's really, really thick. It's a lovely little scarf. Well, not little, it's massive. Really chunky and nice. It actually smells like my brother and their wife's house. It smells beautiful. And so, my family must really know me because someone else has bought me another head scarf or head, head, 
headband. What would you call them? Oh my gosh, this is tiny. Oh, I don't think this is going to fit. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, it does, but I feel like it's kind of squishing my brain out. Oh, I don't know about this. I feel like I come from, like, Russia. Like, is it the Rush... Kazakhstan or Russian, where they wear the big headpieces, Russia? Oh, I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh, no, it's quite big. We'll see. We'll do something else, but right now... Oh, cone heads! I look like cone heads, but a bit more fluffier. Okay, guys, that one is a bit wild. I think my hair is going to be even more wild now. Let's see. Yeah, it's crazy. But hey, ho, we're not going anywhere. Who else is on lockdown again, guys? We are not actually on tier four just yet. Don't know why I'm pointing that way. There's no tiers over there. Um, we're not actually on tier four just yet, but I've got a feeling we will be soon because our area is the highest area in the whole of the Northwest. And they haven't shut down the schools, but they have in London. Like... It's just bonkers, like it just really does not make sense. So we will see. So I'm just staying in, to be honest, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do miss going out, don't get me wrong. I miss eating out at restaurants so much. Like you wouldn't believe it. Like so so much. Just like all I'm craving is a big fat lobster and some fries. Oh, I could just eat it right now. So I'm um, one of the women I've known for years. She actually lives in my room. She dropped me off stuff to make my own little hot chocolate bomb, which I thought was really cute. Like, just really nice. She just left it on the doorstep and said, enjoy, which I thought was very nice. And I left her a bottle of wine because we get along. She's a lovely woman. Kind of just, like, realised how wild I was actually looking. Oh. oh let's sort this head out. I'm going to wash my hair. I whip my hair back and forth. Oh, that sounded like I jumped. I did not jump. That was the chair. <laughs> okay, what's going on with my little onion head? Let's have a little look. Is she onion ready? Always. So, oh yeah. So this morning, I've actually just been to Asda already. And I'm never going again in my life. I hate Asda. Like, I don't know why my mum got me a gift card for there, but... She did. So she always gets us a gift card for somewhere for January. So just to treat ourselves or do a food shop or something. So she got us a, I think it was a £40 gift voucher for Asda. So I went there this morning and it was absolutely heaving. Everyone just panic buying, like absolutely ridiculous. It was crazy. So yeah, so I popped to Asda this morning. So she did get me a £40 gift voucher, which was in here. And that's why it's just empty. So I wonder what the heck it was then. My brother and wife's card, which they gave me money in, which is now in another of my purses. And I got another purse, but this one is absolutely delightful as well. So this is from Accessorize as well. So this is the London bus, or just the English bus, to be honest. Not London, we've got them everywhere, but it does say London. London, London, Brav, London, London bus. And cute little purse, which I thought was lovely, lovely. Oh, it's got a nice little inside. I like it just when they're dead neat, tidy. Do you know what I mean? Like you just slot your cards in, slot your cash in, slot, slot. <laughs> Didn't mean that. Right, next. No, we got a few of these. Ooh, got a nice half and sweet them. So we got a few of these hot chocolate bombs, which are just like little stock and fillers off a few of our friends. I got my Scorpio notebook. Again, another notebook. As to who doesn't like notebooks? I literally just make it into the Scorpio category. Scor star sign. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of what it's called. October the 23rd to November the 21st. Hmm, that's crazy though. Right, the Shimmer of Silver. So these are hair treatments. To take the yellow out your hair and just bring a bit of the silver back in. Well, not back in, but put it in. And to be honest, they're really good. Um, I've used these a couple of times. Got lots of keratin in, I'm just reading the back, and it's really good for damaged hair. So, I have, don't know if you noticed guys, but I've been dyed my hair in, since March, it'll be a year. And I feel so proud of myself. I've been dyeing my hair since I was 15. And if you go into my personal Instagram, 
you will see the hair colours that I've had. I've had dreadlocks, I've had pink hair, I've had blue hair, I've had green hair, I've had shaved hair, I've had leopard print hair. Hair grows. Hair grows, guys. So don't be afraid to do what you want to do with your hair. And I love doing it. So, another one that I got, let me reach these over, was off my mama. These pair of the Calvin Klein, like, pumps. I love these. Like, literally, look at them. They are so pretty. I got them from TK Maxx. Would you believe what a bargain? So these should have been about 89.99. And we got them for 30? No, 89.99, yeah. And they... And, yeah, they reduced the set. Not reduced, but TK Maxx retail them at £30. So if you have a TK Maxx, get down there and get yourself an absolute bargain. I don't want my mum spending a fortune on me because... What do I need to spend the fortune for? I've got what I want. And I like what I've got. Oh, holy moly. Nearly knocked that everywhere. So the last couple of bits. Actually, it does. Yeah, it kind of. So I've got another little. Actually, I've got a bottle of wine off one of my managers in work. One of, sorry, not managers. Um, she's a facilities manager, so she runs certain things in the school. Bottle of wine and some a very cute vanilla fudge which i completely forgot about which i will probably eat this afternoon because i love fudge as you know i'm making it all the time so oh who buys next like jewelry and makeup and stuff because i love their nail varnish so this was another little stocking filler off my mama um and let me see if i can get this to focus oh come on you little crazy guy oh yeah right so if you can see, it's got an, oh, there we go. It's got a really nice shimmer to it. And it is, there we go. What is going on? That's so much better. So it's beautiful. And I have bit my nails for 29 years. I'm 30 now. I stopped biting my nails last year in March when COVID came in. And it's the worst habit I've ever had. And I'm totally ashamed of it. But I'm not going to lie that I did it because I did do it. And my nails, I wasn't a biter like down where you see people and they bite them like down, down, down to the bottom there. Let me show you. Like, do you know where people do them like down to that bottom, right bottom bit right down there? No, I wasn't one of them. I did just used to take the white ends off them. And so I was renowned for doing that. So the past 12 months, my nails have been getting stronger, healthier, and so I've been trying to get nail varnish, which encourages this. And so, net guys, if you want to strengthen your nails and it lasts really like chip resistant, I love that. So I've just been trying to like encourage my nails to grow and be healthy along with my hair and stop using parabens because we are having IVF. So we haven't had any cycles yet. We've had to put it back nearly a year because of COVID which has been crap, that's the only way to describe it, it's been absolutely crap, and so I'm trying to like reduce all the toxins that I put into my body, sound miserable as hell, but I really am guys, and it's it's hard, don't get me wrong, from everything, from like deodorants and everything, so yeah, so I try not to do too much too often, what have we got left, oh, I should have showed you the cheesecake before we had it, dang, I'll add the picture now, how cute is that cheesecake guys absolutely delicious it was ferrero rocher again and then we had an even bigger one again that was 10 inch and then we had a 14 or 16 inch that sounds little but that's like that big in cake size and that was white chocolate ferrero rocher it was delicious so we got these little cute candles i got craig one and he got me one would you believe c and r so for craig and rebecca my full title and hello there. So, Monty Bojangles. Oh, there we go. Monty Bojangles. That's all I need to say. Like, literally, Monty Bojangles, guys. They do the chocolate scoffy or the chalky scoffy, scrumble nutty, or the flutter scotch. I love the flutter scotch. I definitely should represent these, I think, because I eat my body weight in them too often it's not alive too often and they are so good so i can't wait to eat them i'm surprised i haven't had them already 
saying that like we have had that's the only thing with christmas you get boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of chocolates and so you always end up with that one box which you tip all the other boxes into because you haven't had them ones in that box and so we're kind of nearly at that stage where we've got that one box you know that one box that i'm talking about my brother and his wife got me this so this is the google no game it's always up to date and it works with google assist and i think you kind of put it in your computer or your phone or your laptop mm, i really don't know so i'm gonna have to look into that but it looks quite good so we are always playing board games at the moment thanks to covid or we're playing them over zoom or we play quizzes or yeah so i thought this was a really really cool gift so i can't wait to use that I might dig it out this little dig it out, open it up this afternoon and have a little look into it, ready for our next quiz. Let me try and get the sun has just gone in. Well not the sun, it's no sun out there, but the actual light. How flipping cute are they? They are just gorgeous, aren't they? Look how sparkly they are. So I got them for Christmas off my brother and his wife with a little stocking filler. And yeah, I just thought they were very, very, very sweet. And I love a good set of clips at the side. Yeah, I thought they were very sweet. And last but not least, guys, I got this beautiful... I like basic rings, but I like a lot of rings. Like, I haven't got any on at the moment except for my engagement ring. But I like, like, a lot of silver. I'm not really a gold fan, so I got this. You are probably not in her... Oh, wait there. It isn't too bad. There we go. So I got this off Craig. Let me turn my actual, I don't know where my engagement ring's gone. There we go. Turn that around. So I got this, this one here. My Pandora ring off Craig. And it is just the basic crown. So I didn't want anything too sparkly to go next to my engagement ring. But it is a lovely, lovely ring. And it's got really nice detail. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try and zoom that in so you can see it. Yeah, there you go that's a bit better no not really so yeah it's really pretty so Craig got me that as part of my gift and the other stuff oh sorry guys I'm on zoomed in still so he got me that as part of my gift and a load of like other cute little bits but we also had an actual nightmare with some of my gifts so he bought some stuff from offline it said it was due here Christmas Eve I was checking the tracking waiting in he sent me everything because he was in work. And next thing was, it was sent back to the dispatcher. Yeah, does that make sense? The dispatcher. No sign, nothing. I was home all day, nothing posted through the door. No one knocked. We have dogs, we have cameras, we have a bell. <laughs> I can't think of it. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. So, yeah. And so they've been sent back to the dispatcher. And so we're going to have to wait another two weeks, it says, at least for them to come. So we'll look in the end of January, like middle of January, probably middle of January. Typical. How crazy is that? Typical for me anyway. But hey ho, got to be grateful for everything that you get. The fact that we're still alive and it's a bit crazy out there. And so guys, yeah, that's the majority of what I got for Christmas and what I have put away and things. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And so, yeah, I do want to show these so quickly. As you know, we've got that gorgeous garden centre by my house. So I went again with my mum the other day. We just quickly ran in. There was about three people in there. It was so dead. Couldn't believe it. And I picked up these little beauties. So, how flipping amazing is this? So this was on the Christmas sale. And yeah, okay, fair enough. You could say it was a Christmas decoration. Well, I am using this as a Christmas decoration. This little beauty, let me see if I can get somewhere that's a bit plainer. This little beauty will be going in my house somewhere. So it's a toucan and it's really heavy. How gorgeous is that? That cost me, so it should have been $6.99 and it cost me £3.50. But that was really nice. And you can see, it's quite big, quite good size. The next one that I picked up, oh my gosh, they are all completely kerfuffled. Is that gorgeous? Let me put it there because you can see a bit better. Let me move that. There we go. Is this absolutely gorgeous metal seahorse? 
How pretty is this? Oh, look at it. It's just so lovely. Little sparkly eye. Love that. Oh, I dropped it. I've got this beautiful glass. Oh my gosh, guys. As soon as I saw this, I fell in love with this. Look at this. Oh, look at it. How cute is that? Look at that. I said there is a glass little piggy. Love him. So that was only 150. 150. Can't even get them from the charity shop at the moment, guys, for that price. Charity shops put themselves up at the moment way too much. And then we have this BFL. So it's quite heavy as well. Let me move her in a bit more so you can see her. See how delightful she is. Should I stand her on there? Is she gonna stay? Is she not? No, she's too low down, isn't she? Can you see her? Look at her. Wait, they're like zooming for you guys. Zoom in. There we go. Look how delightful she is. How cute. And she is ceramic. I just thought she was gorgeous. I can't wait to put her on my tree next year. And she was only 150. Like amazing. Like what is going on with my phone? So yeah, so cute. So 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 cute. And so yeah, guys. Thanks for sticking around and joining me. Hope you're all staying safe and being healthy and yeah, just looking after yourselves and everyone else. Don't forget to pay attention. Say hi to your neighbours and let them know if you need anything. It's kind to be kind. Honestly, guys, it's good to be good. And so, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you all there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on here on Instagram. And I will link, leave the link down below. I'm going to be having a giveaway this week again, guys because I feel like it. So stay tuned and I will see you all again soon. Bye.